friends and welcome back to vlogmas uh day 18 and i'm going to say this up front make sure you watch us to the end because today is normally my monday cuteness overload and it has been pouring here so i am like so blessed i recorded it the other day while the sun was out just wanted to let you know chickens will be coming up after i tell you some things that i got done today in this vlog because i've been going since this morning i made another loaf of my artisan bread and i will speak to jean and see if she wants a couple loaves for her sister went down and checked my onions from the garden and some were starting to sprout so what i normally do one i'm going to end up using because i'm going to make tortellini and i am just going to put one in with some ground beef for a little bit of protein which i have that in the microwave the frosting and i think that's done Okay, so what I like to do is holidays or just for quick things, I chop my onions up and not big chunks, like normal sizes, or I'll use my chopper and then I'll have them in the freezer. Next thing I'm going to do is this tomato paste. I have quite a bit out in the garage. I'm going to try it with these three cans. But I want to scoop it out, melon ball scoop it, and which would be like tablespoon amount. And you can freeze that and add that into dishes and, you know, meals that you're making and not have a gazillion cans of tomato paste like I did. So I'm getting ready to chop these up so I can leave probably this little one out to go with dinner. Let me show you what I normally, I also cleaned up the top shelf of the freezer. Because normally I was giving like the top two, but no. Okay, so I cleaned this up. And where is it? So I could show you. Let's see. I have some cookie dough in here. Tomorrow is going to be a full baking day. I'm trying to see what I did with it. This is, I have a full baggie downstairs. This is what I call my garlic pucks. Oh my goodness. You're not on my tripod right now, but this comes so in handy when you're making a meal and it requires like a tablespoon of garlic. I did this fresh on my channel. Great way to preserve a lot of garlic. I'm going to add that into my meal. I like to pre-cook my meal in advance so I'm not in their way when they get home. Okay, so I did those two shelves right there, straightened them up, because I need to ask Jean. She's probably going to think there's a lot up there. There's really not, but I have to ask Jean if we could fit a glass casserole pan in here. Maybe two, because there's really not much in there. Oops, sorry. There's really not much up there, um, because I'm going to do the all gratin potatoes, I think, in advance, like a freezer meal, and that will be for Christmas, but I want to ask her first. So I did all that, I vacuumed my room, and I cleaned up the refrigerator. I took out a pork loin for tomorrow, and I cut up some cabbage to make that cabbage soup, and yeah. And I have all the jams ready to make the thumbprint. This is just for convenience, but I have the jams ready to make the thumbprint cookies. And I have to prep my mushrooms, but we might do that tomorrow. And then I cleaned up. I dealt with the chickens. I cleaned the bathroom because Jean put the snowman um, shower curtain up. So I did the toilet, the tub, the sink, and swept the floor, mopped the floor, and then put her little rug down and washed the other ones for her with my tablets. And then, I couldn't tell you, but I, I had to wash my stuff on the bed because my little dog got sick. So, I took that all off. And I cleaned up the girls, gave little Sophia a bath. I ran the vacuum in here. So, the room is all good. And I used Windex and wiped off all my surfaces. Um, where is little Miss Sophia? There she is. Little Miss Sophia was a dirty dog. Look at her hair. I cut off a couple knots, but I didn't get her, like, done-done. 
I'm just letting her chill out. Now her hair is all nice and soft. Hi, Sophie. Say hi. No, you're not going to say hi. Are you going to tell them your mean, bad mommy gave you a bath today? But she really needed one. She has a personality. So this is my Yorkie, Sophia Loren. She used to toy look at her. <laughs> you want to give a Paul? You don't really do tricks. Tell them. So you had a surgery when you were little. Didn't you for your leg? But look at that face. She's so cute. So I still have to give her a haircut. I only just cut off a couple of the knots. So I took out some tortellini. I have fermented feed for the chickens. I found extra walnuts considering I bought a three pound bag. I tried to pawn them off of my jar and he said, Mom, I'd never eat all those walnuts. But um, So I had some leftover from last year's baking season. I googled, can the chickens have walnut, walnuts, and it said yes, just have to chop them up. So I gave them some. This is their little section right here, and I have extra in the bag right here, walnuts, um, to give them some more tomorrow. That's their peanut butter. And here's their fermented feed. That is done, good to go. Made myself an iced coffee drink. There's the tortellini that I'm going to end up making for dinner. And, oh my goodness, I've been on a roll today. I cleaned the sink and did the dishes, all that jazz, and ran the vacuum. So, let me get out my chopper so I can just chop these real quick. Mm, or maybe not. Maybe I should. Yes, my meat is definitely sold out. Um, let's do the tomato paste. And I fed the dogs. Oops, and I'm leaving something out. I cleaned up this whole corner. It's my ninja. I try to keep it nice and neat so it doesn't get on Jean's nerves. But it's baking season. So I brought out my olive oil spray. Uh, my avocado oil was empty. So I brought up a fresh one. Um, I left my flour in the car. Just regular flour. So I got to get that out of my SUV. Wiped down all the shelves. Did the floor over here. And just made it a little bit more organized. And that's bread flour. So... I'm really on a roll today, and when it comes to this bread, amazing. It could be great gifts to take to people's houses. So I'm going to see if they want this piece or if they want this with their dinner tonight. If they do, then I'll just make another one. Um, one of these are going to go to Debbie, and then I will probably end up making, let me see. Well, I have to ask Jean if she wants to take one or two over to her sister on christmas eve so this is what's in store for tomorrow um some print cookies uh the potatoes i want to peel them really thin only if Jean says i could put a glass pyrex pan in that freezer then i will make up the potato all gratin which i bought gouda cheese and some fancier cheeses to go with it that could be the potato part of Christmas's dinner. So, okay. I did a lot. I'm going to hit you on pause for a second because I got to get those cans open. And I think I'm just going to scoop it out into a bowl and just make them sort of like I did my um, garlic pucks. So that every time you just need like maybe a tablespoon, tablespoon of tomato puree, you can just freeze it. Wasn't sure if you knew that tip. That's the main reason why I'm telling you. It's a huge tip. And I have the al Alfredo sauce. So I think I might be making um, tortellini Alfredo for my stuff to eat. So let me hit pause for a minute and I'll bring you back. Okay, now I'm out of breath because I had to run downstairs. I forgot something. And the reason why I put you on pause is because I always have to take my phone case off of my phone or it doesn't fit in the tripod. So, I'm sure I showed this before. This is the chopper that I use. It's kind of a waste to pull it out just for this little bit of onion, but that's what I'm going to do. Take a little shortcut. And, yeah. So, if you grow onions in your garden... You need to check them uh, like at least once a week so that you catch them before they actually spoil.
foil. So I just cut it. I'm not going to do a buku amount, but I'm going to do some. I just whack it. Fast and easier way than standing here chopping everything, considering it's going into a little bag being into the freezer anyway. And then this one, I may or may not use for dinner, we'll see. And that is how fast that is done. And they're in like normal sized pieces. Okay. So let's start putting some of the onion inside this baggie. I'll just put all of it in here. But that's just what I do to keep my onion from losing my onions from going bad chop them up flatten it let the air out put it in the freezer and you can bring it out when you need to make something so definitely a convenience thing to do you know the holidays and just cooking dinners in general everything requires an onion so let me rinse that out I rinsed that out. Now I'm just going to rinse this off very quickly. It comes with a bunch of different blades, but I hate to say this. I think all my other blades are in a tote that's in storage. I brought it here, but it went to storage. So maybe you're a person that buys, you know, they might not have the individual onions at your store, but then you feel like, oh, I just waste it. Sort of like with bread and whatnot. There you go. You're going to pick up some onions on sale, chop them up. If you have a chopper, just slice them with a good knife and freeze them. All right, so that's done. Now, let me get the pots going so I can get my dinner kind of made. I also pulled out my um, apple slicer because I'm also going to be making... A surprise dessert tomorrow when we make the thumbprints for Vlogmas 19. This is Vlogmas 18. So I'm not going to tell you what the name of that is yet. So I brought that up. And I think what I'm going to do now is get the water going. Put these onions in the freezer. I'm going to get the water going so I can start cooking my... I'll turn you this way so I can start cooking... I almost stuck my tripod in the garlic, so I may end up smelling like garlic. I'm going to start boiling the water so I can do some tortellinis. Obviously, I'm not hungry right now, but I like to get my meal prepped in advance, like I stated, because they have steaks out, and I don't like to be in the way when they're cooking. So, let's put that on. And then in the meantime, I guess I should have grabbed the can opener. And let's find something we can put this in. Some type of little bowl. Make sure you can see. Okay, we're going to move on to the tomato paste. I want to at least do these three cans. Okay, let's start opening them and then I'll figure it out if I need a container. I am just might scoop them out right from out of the can on some wax paper. And then you can um, flash freeze them. And then once they're frozen, you can put them right into the same way as I keep, like a double Ziploc baggie. And let's see how many we can get out of these three cans. Because, you know, you open up a can of tomato paste and you don't always need it. At least not the whole can. And that's why I do this. Okay. This is Jean Scooper. It's a little big. But let me just put this down. And let's see. It's going to be a big scoop. 
I think that's probably about right. Melon ball scooper, I think, would be better with this. But these are going to go right in the freezer. You're going to freeze them up. And once they're frozen, frozen, you can put them in a Ziploc baggie. And oh my goodness, I'm so sorry if you weren't seeing that. I used to open up cans of tomato paste and then I forget it's in the fridge and then some of it goes moldy. Let me get a spoon. Because you don't always, like I said, need a whole can. Okay, that was pretty quick. And now let's do the next one. Let me see what it looks like by using a teaspoon. Once you get these cold, you can roll them into a ball. I don't think I'm going to use that scooper. So I know vlogging supposed to be a little bit longer and some of mine have been short but this one should be a little bit longer because you'll see the chickens at the end of this okay that's all I'm going to be able to fit on this piece of parchment paper right now so I'm going to pop these in the freezer and then I'll show you what that looks like. Mm. But I have to start cooking my food. Okay, so I use, I put, I picked them up. I put them on a paper plate in the freezer. We're going to do this last can together. And um, yeah, I have to wait. Just drop little dollop bowls teaspoon worth, tablespoon worth. And that is how fast you can have another convenience item like the onions, the way I do the onions and the way that I do my garlic. You can do the same thing with tomato paste so that it is all ready and good to go, especially like if you're making a stew or something. You need just like a tablespoon. Can't tell you how many cans of tomato paste I wasted. So there's the rest of that. My water's starting to come to a boil. Okay, I just put that other one in the freezer to get it ice cold so I can baggie them up. And I took the cans out to recyclables and rinsed my hands. So can't decide if I actually want meat or not. I don't, I'm a, just not a huge meat eater um, besides the dental problems. It's a little bit more than that. So, but I'm going to cook it up anyway and let's just roll with it. So there's my water. I have to put some, and they're not salt people around here, but friends, this is my sea salt, my kosher salt, I'm sorry, in here. When you're doing any type of pasta, thoroughly salt your water. And make sure you cook your pasta the right way. Um, let's get some tortellini. I had to watch my plate didn't fall. These are aged Parmesan, mascarpone. These are from Sam's. And I'm just gonna eyeball it for me. All right, if there's a little bit left over then for tomorrow, that's fine. And that should be plenty. 
I don't know about you, but I love tortellini, especially if they're just cooked right. Okay. So, got the tortellini in. Let's put this back in the freezer. I figured I would turn on the camera so that you could do a couple things with me. All right, let me get a tiny frying pan so I can cook this meat up as a just in case if I want it. Put it on high. A little bit of extra virgin olive oil. Now, like I was just telling you, is I'm not a huge meat eater. I bought a bunch of fresh burgers um, because I knew I could use the patties in other ways. That's another little um, idea. If you're not going to make burgers, use it for your meal, like I'm going to. They're not seasoned or anything like that. Let me throw this in the trash. I have been running around like a chicken with no head. So I'm going to start cooking this up. And let me grab my garlic puck. Okay, let me put this back on the heat because I had to run down um, the rugs that were originally in the bathroom. Um, I washed them separately. I dropped my garlic puck in here. I'm basically just chopping the meat down into smaller pieces, but when they sell them as like a, like as a hamburger, it's basically just meat. I got it at Sam's and I thought I'm probably, I'm not a big burger person, but I'm sure I could figure out, you know, for my portion, my, my body type, I could use it as an individual portion of ground meat. So that's another tip. If you don't eat, you know, a ton. I mean, I eat, but I do a lot more food prep here in advance. Because like I said, I don't like to be in their way when they're cooking. Before, I used to just cook and we all ate it together. And yeah, not the more. Okay. So the garlic is in there melting and smelling really good. I'm going to go in with a little bit more garlic powder just because it keeps you healthy in the winter time. A little bit. I'll mix it all through. will have my dishes and everything all done and cleaned up before she even gets in the door. Um, I think I'm going to go in with a little bit of pepper flakes. If there's an open one. Actually, I want to go in with some basil. A little bit of basil. Bit of parsley. We're going to mix this all up. And we're going to see a couple of plates open. Okay. So I finally chopped it all, seasoned it, I'm going to do some salt and pepper. I will also wipe the stove all down. Add some tea. And that's not too shabby for a quickie dinner. Put over some tortellinis or not. I haven't decided it fully. All that garlic off of there and that is done I'm just gonna let that sit 
and all I have to do is wash two, three things currently at the moment. Tortellini are starting to swell up a little bit. Give them a stir. Tortellini start off all tiny and then they blow up. You can add some spinach in with the meat. It's amazing. Trust me, I know because I, I do it. But I'm going to let these finish cooking. I'm going to wash a couple things. And then I will bring you back. See if there's anything else I want to tell you. Oh, I have to do the advent calendar. And then you'll see the chickens. So just, you know, some things that I got done today. Some quickie tips on how to do the tomato paste. And you can do that with garlic. I only did three drops of oil in my food processor and put whole cloves of garlic in there fresh and then I used a scooper to scoop them out and that's how I froze them. I have a full baggie downstairs which comes in handy in the winter time and how I buy the 100% I think it's 90-10 they're burgers freshly made at Sam's and I will sometimes just use it as ground meat and what I'm making for dinner. So let me wash up a couple things and I guess I'll bring you back. Okay, I just washed up a few things. So that's all done. And then I'm going to get out a container because this is going to be for dinner tonight. It's too early for dinner. But at least I have it done and out of the way. Because I think tonight, after everything I did today, I'm just going to relax. And I'm going to take out a bunch of butter. Because tomorrow is going to be a big baking day for Vlogmas 19? Yeah, because today's Monday the 18th. Okay, so. I'm going to use this container with the lid. I'm going to get ready to drain them. So while I'm giving the tortellini another like minute or two, we had... And we still do have really strong winds out there going on. It just literally stopped raining. It went out earlier. Oh my goodness. You'll see. Because I cleaned up the chicken um, run. The long part. And got up all that extra straw. And now I kind of regret it. Because it's very wet in there now. Because the way the wind was coming in. It um, blew all that rain in. So that's terrible that's a muddy mess uh the back still has straw so uh, but i just did that video the other day when it was sunny because i saw the weather in advance so it is previously recorded and that's why it's recorded because i paid attention to the weather wanted you to be able to see the girls but today is my monday cuteness overload okay i'm going to drain this and i'm going to probably put the meat in a separate container let me turn that off. Okay, so I'm just over here drying the frying pan. I've already washed the dishes that I've used. And I wiped the stove off somewhat, but it's still pretty hot. And let me show you what I got. So, not too bad. That's a lot of tortellini. And then this size container of the meat. And I'm going to just let it sit a little bit room temperature. I have garlic alfredo um, and I was debating this is the brand that I get doesn't have any bioengineered in it um, I'm debating if I want to cover it all yeah let's just do it and then I'll just mix it in let me grab a spoon really quickly I'm going to make sure that that's, okay, that should be more than enough. I usually do it while it's still warm, so it coats it because it's going to absorb it. And then lots of pepper. Oops, sorry guys and gals. I just mix it in, like I said. And lots of pepper. Good to go, and there's a little bit left in the drawer. Mmm, delicious. So, let me grab the pepper, and then I have my dinner all done. Oh, not the pepper. Um, 
Then I have my dinner all done for the night and probably some for lunch tomorrow since it's going to be a big baking day. Now don't worry, it might look a little soupy, but it's not. It will absorb in. All right, so that's that. That's my tortellini and the meat. And that, I think, is everything I got done today. And now, we're going to go do the advent calendar. I was just thinking, I hope I wasn't staying day 19. It's Vlogmas day 18. Whew, I should wear my glasses more often. Okay. Let's go get the advent calendar now because I cleaned up. I just have that sitting there to cool. Once the red light is off on the stove, I will do the scrub daddy on the stove and clean that. And let's not forget I stripped the bed. But let's go in. Hi, Coco. You were taking a nap. Advent calendar. Let's grab that. And today is the 18th. Let's see. Let me raise you up just a little teeny bit here. And let me find 18. Okay. 18 is right here. I'm trying to see how it opens. There we go. Get. The chickens will be coming up after this. And we have another one of these, which are really good. So I think they're going to leave the bigger um, bears, I think, till I get closer towards the end of the advent calendar. All right, that's what I got for you. I did a lot today, and now I have to fix, put my sheets on the bed. And I will see you tomorrow. I have to take out a lot of butter. I'm glad that I cooked food in advance because now I don't have to worry about it. And this is an extra one of my laundry tablets. And I did find this. Look at how precious this is when my mother-in-law passed away. Uh, this was made for me. And I've never obviously used it as a keychain. Whoops. It might not come in that clear. Let me do it on the box. But anyway, I know it's hard for you to say it, but that is my mother-in-law. Um, and I may hang this in my vehicle. I'm not really sure because I kept it and protected it um, in this little box. And it says, in loving memory, mom. So I love it. And I have my... Daphne underneath there, my first dog who lived for 16 and a half years. So, all right, my friends, my phone is notifying me that space. Um, so that's that. It's so cute. All right, I'm going to patch this video together with the chickens. So enjoy the chickens. I'll see you for Vlogmas Day 19 tomorrow. And love y'all. Um, Stay tuned for the chickens. Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is my Monday cuteness overload that I do every Monday. We'll see how it goes once winter really sets in. But there's the girls, some of them, that's three, four, five. I think the other one is behind. They were getting very antsy. I just swept up a lot of that straw. I don't know. It's, it was like wet, I guess, from all the rain. So I cleaned up that part. They have eggshells and corn and sunflowers. That's oatmeal and carrots, my peanut butter and raisins and fresh water. Took down their other water and cleaned it and put it over there because I just didn't get to it. But the girls are out doing their thing. And then this is extra. I'll just put inside. I didn't do the back part. Uh, I figured I'd leave it, let them do their thing. Um, but I'm going to end up dumping this into the garden for free fertilizer for them. Hello, ma'am. 
This is my worst chicken molting right here. Say hi. Say hi. Say I'm still beautiful. Such a shame that a chicken molts in the winter time. So, out here letting the girls vent out some of their aggression. Um, it looked like it was a wine dot and one of my New Hampshire Reds that were kind of just going at each other. So, they need to getting bored. Now they're all back there eating bugs and grass and doing all that good stuff. Hello, ma'am. Hello, girl. <laughs> But she's the only one that looks that bad out of my other two. So I feel like she's the one that's getting picked on. I guess because maybe they know she's molting. I'm not really sure. Hi. Hi. Where are you running to? Where are you running to? See, I'm losing my feathers in the coldest months, right? Hello, ladies. Hey, what do you got going on? The white specks. What is that? I love. Hello, love. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Oh. So they're looking pretty good. One has some white specks on her face. I don't know what that means. And my one is molting really bad right here. If you know, it's very painful for chickens. Hello. Hello. They had some tuna fish. I don't give my... Oh, look what they see. Look, they're flying around. I don't know if you could see that. It's funny how they looked up and spotted it. There's two roosters down the street. So, usually they'll crow and make a lot of noise, but I'm just trying to keep my eye on this bird. Not sure if it's a buzzard. Yeah. So, I gotta protect the ladies. Gotta protect the ladies. So, I'm doing the Vlogmas. So, today, this will be my Vlogmas. I'm just winging it, like I said. And, uh,. I didn't want to disappoint the people that love seeing the girls. It's getting very close to Christmas, which that feels weird. What? Um, back to the tuna fish. It was a pouch of tuna fish. It said ranch tuna, like one of those pre-made kits. I gave that to them the other day. And if I find extra cans of tuna out in the garage, I'm giving it to the girls because I will only give them fish. Two extra dogs here today, so I have the door locked. Five dogs is a lot to deal with when you have chickens. But they're enjoying their stuff, they're doing good. I'm not seeing that bird again, so. All the cookie making, saving all the, their eggs and feeding it back to them. Right? Right? Tell them, so you look a hot mess, don't you? Hi, baby. It's okay. It's okay. Come here. Uh. Hi. Why are you running? <laughs> she doesn't want to be pet. Alrighty, well, I guess I'm just going to sit here and wind and watch the girls. I hope that you all have a blessed week, an amazing holiday. From the girls, we wish you a Merry Christmas, all that fun, good stuff. And I'm just going to take a breather for a minute and yeah, so. That's my video and my vlogmas. I don't even know the number at the current moment. I will put it up um, in the title. 
Do you want to say bye? Do you want to say bye and say have a blessed week? Huh? All right, friends. Me and the girls will see you on the next video.